everyone, welcome back to Poke Adventures Season 2, Episode 5. Yes. <laughs> Today we are going to go up against Falconer of the Violet City Gym. I almost said Volkner, <laughs> and I'm like, he's later. He's like Diamond like, and Pearl. Generations and generations later. <laughs> so, a uh, quick update to the team. I got nothing. Uh, Ghastly's level 9 still. Everyone else is level 13. We did gain Water Gun on uh, Poliwag, and that's about it on Cyndaquil. All right, on my team, all of my team members are level 13. My Geodude, is a, he's got Rock Throw now, which is going to be very useful in this upcoming gym battle. Uh, my Hoot Hoot, um, he's got Peck, which is nice. Uh, Chikorita, not really doing Chikorita a Chikorita got lot. Reflect. It got Reflect, yeah. Dang, son, that's early. Early. I did capture a Growlithe. Um, he has Ember now, and he does have a very nice special attack, I must say, my goodness. The good news is he's on your team. Yes, and I just randomly captured a Ladybot. I don't know how long he will stick around, but why not? Exactly. Uh, so we're just going to head straight on into the gym here, and we're going to battle it out with some trainers. Sounds good. See if you are good enough to face Faulkner! I'm definitely good enough to face Faulkner. Cody's easily good enough. Yeah. This is going to be a first gym that we're actually super good at. Yeah. And usually the first one is pretty easy to gauge. I mean, remembering back to Pokemon Yellow, we kind of like, okay, with Brock, and then we kind of went with the <laughs> whole Butterfree thing. And... I tried to get double kick, but I didn't have... Yeah. Oh, your peck. Did one, like, one damage. Geodude, hit with rocks. Dang it, Geodude! Oh, hey, I actually got mine KO'd before you. Congrats. And... Cody did a little cheat. Uh, he <laughs> leveled up his Pokemon essentially to the point of leveling up again. Almost, but not quite. Um, which is dumb, but you know, it <laughs> works. Um, I would rather my Pokemon work for their levels against trainers. How many times did you battle Youngster, Youngster Joey? Um, maybe only once. I battled him eventually six times. Wow. I saw his Rattata go up. Really? One level. Oh, dang. I think it's random if it does or not. All I know is I saw it go up, and I'm like, that. Well, it's probably by number of encounters, I'm guessing. It's gotta be. So you, you battle him a lot more than I did. Ooh, that burn, though. Burn is a really cool status effect that lowers their physical attack and damages them. Very few people know that it lowers the attack. I've always lived by that philosophy that it will lower their attack, and so it's always worth it to get burn over something like... Poison, in my opinion. Yeah. Poison does get worse over time. That's only toxic, I believe. <laughs> I think there's, a, later on too, there's a move, Toxic Spikes, yeah. that inflict poison, but if you switch out and come back it into it... It damages them like regular spikes, too. Yeah. Let's see. You know what? Let's, Just, give, let's give Growlithe a try. Our viewers have yet to see... Is Mark everyone Mark. leveled up to that tiniest extent? Um... Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll they see. Are, maybe, they? maybe not. Uh, with Growlithe, it might be. Ever. I leveled Cyndaquil up to 14. Good job. I can't remember when Cyndaquil evolves. Right, right now! now. Oh, you, his leveled up quicker than Chikorita did. Or evolved quicker. What the crap? Wow. Congratulations. Dude, I actually didn't remember that Cyndaquil evolved at 14. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our first evolution of Season 2. That's ridiculous. I, I was totally unaware. Um, wow. Okay. Well, I was going to, I'm still going to give Poliwag a chance, <laughs> um, but at this point, I, I don't really need to. Uh, let's just go up against Falconer, the Violet City Gym Leader. Well, let's see how Chikorita fares. Maybe I'll get an evolution out of here. Uh, you can clip a Pokemon, flying Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. That's true, and it's actually so true. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I still have this nasty cough. Yeah, what That gives? quote is so true that they took out Mareep from the routes leading up to Falconer. Correct. Just to screw with us even more. Which is sad because I kind of wanted a Mareep on my team. I really do too. I might trade one in from gold version, but that would be really mean. Uh, we're going to water gun because that's better than bubble. Boop. These things do have peck. They do. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that was a Spearow I fought that had peck. Yeah. Pidgey does not get Peck first. I believe it gets Gust. I don't even think it gets Peck anymore. Yeah. It gets Gust, and then it gets Wing, Wing attack, attack, and that's all you get. Um, unless you bring it in from Red, Blue, and Yellow, in which case it can get Aeroblast if you teach it the TM. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, I should have hypnotized first. Pidgeotto! I think uh, Aeroblast would have been a cool TM to bring in. Let's make this a battle of birds. I'm gonna send in my hoot hoot. I was like, Ladybug? It's technically. F oh, come on. I gotta get this hypnosis off. Does cool. yours have hypnosis yet? Not yet. Foresight and Peck, though. Yeah. There we go. Hypnosis. Foresight was nice because I could actually use Hoot Hoot to battle Ghastly effectively. We well, could also use Peck. True. But the or you, did you not have Peck at the time? Not at the time. It was just Foresight and Tackle. I'm like, I <clears throat> forgot this worked. Well, that's good to know. Oh, yeah. Now, if this Pidgeot or Pidgeotto can stay fast asleep, God, can you imagine if this was a Pidgeot? Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. And we both about KO'd him at the same time. Yes. Not that it's a contest. No. Um, but it's totally... Oh, I didn't level up at all. What? Now, I always like the TM that Faulkner gives That's after winning. Pokemon. You get the Zephyr badge. Yes. Um, it raises the attack. I, I've never understood how that worked. Like, if it actually raises the attack By, like, what multiplier stat. or anything. They never really... I, I have not come across it. I've um, never either. Um... With the TM that he gives us, oh, he mentions that they can only be used once, yep. gets Mud, mud slap. slap. Uh, lowers accuracy and causes damage. It's a really good move. And I think, let me just look at my, oh wait, I don't remember where my Pokemon list is. Um, in between episodes, I'm going to look at that and see if I need to save that for anyone, but I don't think I do. Yeah. Oh, Professor Elm. Oh, hello, Professor. You discovered something about the egg? Ooh. It's at the Pokemon Center. Center in Violet City. will be right there. I need this egg. That egg, though. I'm not using this egg on my team, but I want this egg. <laughs> because this is going to be a a true test of the best Pokemon trainer. Who can hatch their egg first? Well, it's by number of walks. It's steps. also... Number of walks, it, number of steps. Number of steps. There's also a certain number of other things that... Like uh, battles and stuff. You have to battle with your Pokemon. Your Pokemon have to be friendly. Yeah. They have to... Egg can be, like, if the egg's in the front of the party, mm -hmm. it gets more. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just weird things like that. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna switch my egg up front. I and as well. Chikorita reached level 14, and I could have sworn Chikorita evolved before Cyndaquil did, but I nope. guess that's not the case. It's Cyndaquil, then Totodile, Chikor and Chikorita, I think. Or Chikorita might be 16. I think, I think it's 16. Switch Egg. Switch Ghastly. <laughs> oh, Ghastly. Oh, poor Rick Ghastly. Or Rachel Ghastly. I don't really know. Uh, so that's it for episode five. Yeah. That's a short, sweet episode. It took less time than we thought to battle the gym leader. Yeah, really. Um, so, if you liked the video, leave us a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in episode six. Catch you later.